you feel when somebody calls you a failure? How do you feel when you fall flat on your face and you just royally screw up? I mean, just, you mess up so bad you don't even want to show your face. That's a horrible feeling, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, let me share this with you. Have you ever realized that some of you need to fail? <laughs> what the heck is she talking about? I know she's got her nerve. Yeah, I do have my nerve. Sometimes we need to fail. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh, you probably think I'm wrong as two left shoes. Well, let me tell you, baby, cakes. Yeah, you need to fail. You need to fail when God sees arrogance in your character. You need to fail when God sees too much pride. You get so full of yourself, you think you're all that. Yeah, you need to fail. When you're moving up in the world and God is showering you with blessings and you're starting to take it as if you did all this, you're starting to get puffed up. You're starting to get the big head and you start to respond to people accordingly. And God is saying, oh, 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 back up, baby, back that truck up. You starting to stink. I don't like what I see. Sometimes our failures will humiliate us so much that we feel like we got to slip out the back. There's a song that says 50 ways to leave your lover, but I'm really dealing with 50 ways to leave your sin, 50 ways to leave your shame, 50 ways to walk away from the very thing that just made you fall flat on your face. And see, sometimes when we come back, we come back too strong because we're trying to save face. No, don't try to save face. Don't do that. Allow yourself to be humbled by God. Humble yourself. All right, listen to this, and then I'll finish. Slip out the back, Jack. Make a new plan, Stan. You don't need to be coy, Roy. Just listen to me. Now you hop on the bus, Gus. Don't need to discuss much. Just drop off the key, Lee, and get yourself free. And sometimes, in order for you to get free from pride, you got to slip out the back, Jack. And God will, God will prepare a back door for you to slip out of with your tail tucked between your legs. Sometimes we have to fail. Some of you, you're falling flat on your face. You know everybody knows it. God saw to it that everybody sees it. Everybody heard about it. And you are so embarrassed, you don't want to be around God or his people. Don't be embarrassed. Own up to it. Own up to it. Go and tuck your tail between your legs and slip out the back, Jack. And then don't run your mouth. Don't be so quick to talk. Be quiet. Be quiet and sit for a while and just listen. Take it all in. Learn all that God wants you to learn. Hear all that God wants you to hear. Because he did it for a good reason. He allowed you to fall flat on your face for a good reason. Because he wants to elevate you. He wants to promote you. He wants, he's poised to bless you. But he's got to get rid of that dead weight, baby. You can't soar with weights hanging on you. He's got to snip those weights off of you. And one of our biggest weights is pride and arrogance, haughtiness and rebellion. You got to be careful with that. But know that God loves you enough that if you can't get rid of it, he'll get rid of it for you. And you'll end up being that vessel of honor that he called you to be. That vessel of honor that he created you to become so he can use you for his glory. God bless you. Don't be ashamed of failure. Know that the way up is down, baby. And sometimes the way forward is flat on your face.
And when God gets through with you, you're going to be sparkling like one of the most expensive diamonds in God's hand. Because to whom much is given, much is required. And remember, God chastens those he loves. So don't take the chastening of the Lord with an attitude. Be careful there too. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up higher and higher and he will lift you up. God bless you. Thank you.